clip it. Clip it. Oh my god, I almost just exploded. I've never heard that before in my life. Wow. Well, Genius. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Walkthrough Podcast here on BAM, the podcast you listen to for all things marketing and branding. Today joining me is my co-host, Mr. Eric, the Brook Agent Simon, Ms. Tessa Bella, and Mr. Dan McKinnon. Today we are going to be dropping bombs. We're dropping nukes, actionable items in real time. We have our own Woj Bomb this week for you, and we have August content ideas, creating a second account, Instagram hack notes, and the best thing that we've seen, and much, much more. But before, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, go get into BAMX, see you at BAM Mania in Vegas, and let's get to it. A special heartfelt virtual hug to Mrs. Simon. All right, let's get into it. Eric, what are some good content ideas that you have drummed up here for uh, from <laughs> for August from ChatGBT? Dropping bombs as we enter World War Three and enter <laughs> this this walkthrough. That's the perfect segue. Yeah, uh, right. it is. It is August tomorrow, Dan, once this is released. So this is going to be a fantastic month of content. We're finally getting out of that summer rut. So I'm going to just rocket fire some ideas from, and these are not from chat GPT. These are from my big, beautiful brain. All right, ready? It is the Olympics, Dan. I don't know if you knew this, but you could trend jack the hell out of the Olympics. You could just use the Olympics audio in the background of some of your content. That's a simple one right there. If you have Olympian in your hometown or an Olympic fact in your hometown, feature it. Maybe Simone Biles is from Phoenix, Tessa? I don't know if she is. I don't think she is. But if she was, that would definitely be something... Yeah. You could do content around. Talk about if you were an Olympic athlete, maybe where would you train in your hometown? The best pools, the favorite gyms, your, your tracks, you know? Uh, yeah. I don't yeah. know. That's yeah. not a bad idea. I was, bad. I was just in Arizona. I was doing some laps in our, our local pool. I've kind of felt like an Olympian. You could do some content around that. The top three neighborhoods to live in if you are an athlete. Yeah. Wait. I think, uh, that's a, I think that's a good one. Uh, like, like, how about if you're an athlete? And you say, oh, you should live in this neighborhood because they have a gym or they have a great place to run or they have whatever. We'll, we'll skip that yeah, one. Yeah, no, no. Um, okay. All right. Why your listing would be perfect for an Olympic athlete. Does it have workout rooms? Does it have a pool? Does it have protein shakes in the refrigerator? You know, something like that. I think that could be a good post idea. Olympic memes, of course. And then let's get into some fake holidays real quick. August 2nd um, is the best breweries. I guess so it's national international beer day. So you could do the best breweries in your hometown. August 8th is national pickleball day. So you could talk about pickleball locations in your hometown. And August 18th is national spoil your dog day, which for me is every single day. Mm-hmm. So you can talk about dog parks, dog friendly restaurants, hiking spots. Those are some August content ideas. Now I will kick it to you. Tessa, I'll start with you. Do you have anything this August, anything planned for the summer back to school? Possibly. What do are you, you an Olympian? I have two post ideas that I think would be great. One is piggybacking off of your Olympics comparison. I don't know if you saw the male gymnast. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name because I'll butcher it, but Steven Nedroskic. I did try, even though I said I wasn't. Um, (laughs) He was the uh, Olympic gymnast from the USA who did the like pony vault, pommel vault thing. And that was his only event. And everyone is comparing him to the Clark Kent of the Olympics because he like only came for that one thing. He sat there for like 12 hours just staring into space. And then he just got up, crushed his event and won the first medal in 16 years. So you could compare yourself as the Clark Kent of real estate in your market. Mm, and I think that the would be specialist great. sitting on go. the sidelines, waiting for the listing to happen. Take exactly. off the glasses. I like that. It's exactly. the pommel horse, by the way, Dan, you would like to sit on one of those. What's your second idea? Tessa? <laughs> My second one is uh, I love now that we are in sort of like entering the second half of the year. I think a, we have blank days or weeks left of the year. If buying a house was on your vision board. Here's how you do it. Something like that. Maybe you make it into a series. Maybe you turn that into a great lead magnet. I had a six months to home ownership workbook that was a super hit for lead magnet. So I think there's a lot of content you could create around like end of the year, accomplish this before the year ends. Like that. Put a time limit on things. That always gets people to take action. It's scary when you think about it, how 2024 is more than halfway done. Go to Tessa Bella's Instagram, DM her, and she could send yeah. you that lead magnet, possibly. Right? Very good. I like yeah, it a lot. 
All right, Dan, I'll you know I'll let you guys fight it out for who the first person to go is. Dan, so I, content ideas. Okay, that I actually <laughs> crushed on the Olympic our train already. I wrote a blog four days ago, and it's already up to like 200 organic clicks on the Olympians from our area. So you got to know people are out there searching on Google. So hit the blogs first, then structure any videos off of blogs that are doing well. Um, utilize a little bit of research. It does super, super well. Secondly, kind of going with Tessa's, I love seeing some of um, people out there in, in comedy is already doing it well, but having the background music for the Olympics and showing things that they do on an everyday basis, you know, doing really well, but it didn't end up making the Olympics and talking about that. So kind of a little comedy about things that you do extra uh, to kind of push in people's face. Uh, for us down here in Florida, school starts soon. So everything here is back to school. Everything for the next two weeks is back to school. So um upping people on what they need to know, what's going on in the local area, anything local crushes. So, Love that. All right, Danny Dan, Deals. Do you have a, an Olympic uh, swimmer in your uh, in your hometown or in your family or something? Any there people? are a few. So my son swims for the Sarasota Sharks, and Summer McIntosh just got the gold medal for, T, uh, for uh, Canada, and Emma Wyant just got the bronze, and she is from both of them live here in Sarasota. So um, uh, it actually, Eric, I kind of let him down by not, prepping him but sarasota is actually known for a place to live for athletes uh triathletes oh. and olympians so he actually was spot on i just kind of wanted to see him squirm earlier perfect the layup right there summer mcintosh by the way quite the uh pretty yeah. swimmer i don't know where i was going with that one, but yeah <laughs> great great swimmer found out Sorry. a lot of facts about sarasota i got a, i got another yeah. one I asked, asked dan mckinnon about george bush uh there's another good fact about sarasota but eric i do have some other content uh, ideas here for august uh, summer travel highlights. So maybe some of the things that you've done, right? You went to Italy. You've mm -hmm. been to 19 bachelor parties, in Nashville, uh, mm -hmm. Cabo, right? You, you've done mm -hmm. quite some, you know, quite a lot. Maybe you do a little, yeah. you know, a little carousel. Show, show the people who you are. Uh, end of summer activities, you know, maybe, uh, you know, you do an activity at the end of the summer. I don't really know what that means. Maybe you have, <laughs> maybe you have a summer barbecue at the house. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, national holidays. There were two that you forgot, buddy. Number one is National Relaxation Day. You do this mm -hmm. every day. August 15th, August 15th could make some jokes around that or content. And August 26th is National Dog Day. And I'm not done. AI and technology. Discuss the latest advancement in artificial intelligence, new gadgets, new tech, whatever it may be. I've been doing, I swear, I've been doing this on my broadcast channel and on threads, and it is like crushing. People want to know mm -hmm. more about it. You want, Eric, would you like uh, an AI assistant to, to take your Zoom meetings for you? Hmm? To do your L10 no. meetings? Hmm? No. No? Okay, no, well, I would not like that. Okay, well, I well I do. Uh, Did you notice every Olympic commercial is about AI? Like yeah. it's Microsoft AI, it's Google AI, it's crazy. But I have seen that ChatGPT. You did put that on your story, Dan, and it actually was an interesting post. So oh, 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 you are right. Goodness. You're right. Right, right almost the end of the year update. Update on your goals. Post where you are at versus your goals. Maybe let people know if you're behind on them. Right, so people get behind you. A little public accountability. Post on threads. Post on your notes. Learn something new and film the process of it. That's what I would. I do. love that. All right, everyone, let us know in the comments what your August content ideas. Make sure you throw this video a like. It helps us push this video to more mm -hmm. real estate agents to help them. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for marketing tips like this every week. All right, this second topic, Dan, I'm, I'm going to take the intro here if you don't mind. Sure, this, is, sure. this is an interesting topic because a lot of agents always have this question. They're wondering, should I have one account or should I have two Instagram accounts? Should I have a business account? Should I have a personal account? Let's just squash that right now. I think we know the answer to that. You should be combining business and personal because people don't want to just follow a real estate robot. They want to see your personality. So if those are your two options, you want to combine those into one, make it a creator account or a business category profile. But today we're going to talk about specific accounts, like if you should create a niche account for your hometown on top of your real estate account or why you should create a second account. So yeah. everybody on this panel has second accounts. I want to start with... Dan McKinnon, you have one that is called what? All Sarasota or what's All it Sarasota, called? and I have one uh, visit Nokomis. So I have a, okay. I have so a why do you why do you have the second account All Sarasota, and what do you post on that that's different than your real estate account? Yeah, so that one is um, just local media. I do not post anyone else's work. It's all the media that I take. I have a little bit of a background in it, so that's a little different. Um, but basically, the the original idea was that. Um, Facebook had gotten rid of targeting, so I wanted to create a lookalike audience. Long story short, get enough followers that you get a lookalike audience, you can advertise to them. Um, but at the same time, I guess I didn't realize that the growth of you know a couple things, 
you know, info and, and leads are very expensive in real estate and having good relationships and creating a relationship while you're not actually having to be a participant in that is huge. So for me, it's really developed into a place where now everyone goes for small business help, um, for, to get knowledge about what's all going on in the area. Um, and I've made a ton of relationships and I've gotten some of my biggest listings from it. So, um, but yeah, that's why I did it. Love it. Tessa, you have had multiple accounts or have multiple accounts. Are you posting on these or what's the thought process behind that? No, my short answer is don't do it. Um, okay. And I will preface with, I probably will start a new account eventually. <laughs> but the reason I say don't do it is because if you're not being consistent with like a super high volume of quality content on your main one, starting a second one is not going to help. It's probably going to distract you even more. And yes. also to just repost the same stuff on one or the other is also not doing you any good. So I had, um, I had started a few and they usually quickly die after I start them. So save yourself the headache and don't do it until you can fully commit to starting a new one and putting your whole everything into it. Can I add to that? Smart, because I actually did right have a note on that. And, and I was going to say yes to add it. If you can do two things, if you can add value and you're filling a void. If you can't do that, don't do it just because your account sucks. If your account sucks, it's look in a mirror. I'm sorry, but that's it. The reason my account exists for that though is it's a completely different audience. It's a completely different service base. So if you can start it and fill a void and create you know, a piece of value for someone, then you'll have that. But like Tessa said, don't just because you're not striking gold on yours yet, there's probably a reason behind that. Yeah, Any deals? And- you just started one, right? Yeah, so I, I did it based off of the last episode that we did with uh, you know Jason Cassidy and, and how he started you know the San Diego page and and taking inspiration from Dan. Like Dan, you you have your Sarasota page because you actually you enjoy it, right? Like you're doing that oh, because yeah. you actually have fun making. Well, that my content. background's in that though. Like my background is understanding. Right. Like I started that page before I even got my license because I knew that's what we were ending the end goal. You know what I mean? So yeah, for me, it, I enjoy the process of it. Yes. And, and Tessa, for you too, like totally agree with you. Uh, like, I don't think, you know, having a, making a page just to make one, right? Like I, I actually made one last week uh, about things on Long Island. Within a week, I'm like, I'm never posting on this. But what I did do is I did create a second or like my ninth account probably because I have like seven burners. I did create one that is uh, about entrepreneurship. So I feel like uh, there's a lot of things that I want to say and I don't care if people follow it or not, but I want to share some of the stories and things that I've gone through. So for me, it's more of just like a place to just brain dump and put it out there. And if people go and watch or if they go and look at it, then that's fine. But it's not to really like get me business. It's more so to like just segment, you know, like most of the people that are following me are following for funny videos or for, for me, right. And for, for the personality, maybe, you know, to se- separate and segment that, that over there where, you know, Hey, here's actually some behind the scenes. Here's some, you know, stuff that I probably wouldn't put on my main page, but you know, if you follow it, you follow it. If you don't, you don't, that that's really the, the, the reasoning behind it. And believe it or not, it's actually worked out really well. Like a lot of people have been reaching out, DMing me, which now, according to Adam Asari, is the number one thing is sends and DMs. I repeat, sends and DMs. So a ton of people have been DMing me. And uh, yeah, and I'm enjoying it. Dan, is because you're doing value and you're filling a void. Filling a void. And, and exactly. it's, like, it's like therapy. You know, I already have five therapists. Entrepreneur Danny's <laughs> number six. What about you, Eric? How many accounts do you have? Nine more ten. than you can count, Danny Deals. More than you can count. I got bad real estate picks. I got over ass. I got now bam. I got the broke agent. I got Dr. Clickstein. I got I got so many accounts, it's ridiculous. But each one is specified to its own niche. I think that's yeah. the important thing here. There's a reason why Jason Cassidy started. It's called In San Diego. Yeah. Is he doesn't want to just post real estate content, right? So he's posting content about his local market, not housing data, but the coffee shops, the new restaurants the dog parks, the water slides, you know, all the creepy shit that, that he enjoys. He's posting onto his actual new page. It's kind of the Ken Pozek move where yeah. you can collab with your actual real estate page, but it's stuff that's not necessarily about real estate. It's just about the community. And it's like, oh, by the way, I'm also a real estate agent when you collab with your other account. So moral of the story is if you decide to create a second account, make sure it's a very different niche than the one that you're already posting on. Like if all of a sudden I switched the broke agent and was like posting stuff about baseball or hockey or something like that, that would obviously throw people out. I would need to create another account for that because that would just throw off the audience that already exists. But Eric, there, there's also something to like, uh, like the entrepreneurship one that I've done or even like Dan Sarasota, like it does. And even Jason's right. Like it does kind of come back to, you know, what, what we all do. Right. But it's, um, 
there's something just exhilarating about like starting a new account. Like it's kind of cool to like really just like actually start from scratch and like do the right things to try to build up, you know, like your following or like your engagement. Like there is no, that the dopamine hit, if I were to like go viral on that page would be right yeah. here. You know what I mean? Right in the veins. Right in the yeah. veins. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a, when you start a new account, you do get juiced a little bit more just like yeah. TikTok because Instagram wants to push your stuff and excite that person for just posting. So, yeah. Um, one they're, they're thing also, yeah, go ahead. Is I think that I think as with most things, you have to also, if you're planning on starting a second account, like go into it with a long term mindset, not saying, Hey, I'm going to start this. And if it gets a viral video in the first, yes. you know, a little bit, then I'll keep going. I yep. think as with, you know, a real estate career, you want to go into it with a long term mindset, not trying to just get that quick win. And that's how you could actually be successful with one. But unless you can commit to that and the time and effort yes. to like, Dan said, fill a void and add value, then I think it's a waste of time. Yeah. Eric, I actually converted my DJ Exma page uh, into the Danny Panor one. So thank God. Yeah. I had one called Crypto Dick originally. It was crypto <laughs> memes, <laughs> cryptocurrency. It was blowing up like in 2017. And then I switched it to vape capes because oh. I was going to sell jewel wraps. Remember jewels, everybody? Of course. I, was, I had jewel wraps. I had one called Rudy Giuliani with smoke coming out of his ears. I had Dennis Podman no. with Dennis Rodman, and it had a, a green jewel pod. <laughs> this was is, all pre-chat GPT, too. That's, that's the best oh, part. I had, yeah, I had Julius still. Irving. I had um, what, Julia Louis-Dreyfus or whatever her name is. What, what's I, the I was, funny one that you have that like probably you should not even pronounce on the – not even that it's a bad I, name? We're yeah. not going to mention that one. <laughs> if people found that account, let's just say the broke agent would be no more, and I would be fired <laughs> from my own company. Um, all right. Let us know in the comments if you have two accounts or if Ten. you want to go follow vape capes. Um, <laughs> if Facebook would have allowed advertising for tobacco products, I would be a vape millionaire, by the way. So that's the only <laughs> reason too. I stopped doing that. Um, all right. Third topic. This is the one we all came here for. This yes. is quick Instagram hacks. Okay. Whatever you have a hack, whether it's threads, whether it's Instagram notes, which we're going to definitely talk about here. Uh, we, we, we have our own we have our own Woj bomb, Eric. Like this I know, is not from, I know. This you is not guys from Adam, sorry. This is from this, like this is from our own know? brains right here. Yeah, uh, Tessa, I'll lead off with you. Um, any Instagram hacks, threads hacks? What are you doing right now that's working in content? Yeah, so this one is actually something that um, I sort of adopted and switched up a little bit from Alex Hermosi because I think he's a genius. But he talks a lot about because I don't know if I'm the only one, but I have ideas for content all the time. And I usually just have 1500 notes in my notes app and they're all sort of jumbled and I usually can't go back and find them. And if I do, it's like spelled wrong and I don't know what I was even talking about. And so his concept was instead of just writing down your idea, tweet it. And so I adopted that and I just use threads. I put every, basically it's just like a running insight into my brain of kind of like ideas that come up and things. And the great part about it is then the threads that do get the most engagement that tells me I'm going to turn that into a video that tells me I'm going to turn that into a lead magnet that tells me I'm going to turn that Gosh. into maybe another product. And it becomes just sort of a way to collect like market data and I can flush out so many ideas. And so I've even been doing it for like testing, sort of split testing my titles for future YouTube videos and things like that. So different days I'll tweet essentially this or post on threads. I don't know what it's called threading. <laughs> I'll thread a new um, like idea and I'll do it a couple different versions over, let's say a week and whichever one got the most engagement, that's going to probably be what I then take and turn into a thumbnail or uh, you know, an opening hook on a video. And that's been working really well. And honestly, I have found that threads algorithm is so good. I have the most specific ideal audience on there out of any platform at all. Like it is a hundred percent. My feed is only people that are my target cl clients and my perfect audience. And they follow me daily. And it's so, so great for that. I wish Instagram would copy that algorithm. <laughs> clip it Haley. That was the clip right there. All minute 30 seconds of that. That is a clip on threads. Genius oh. Tessa. That's what I used to do with Twitter and should continue to do with threads is I would use it as a dumping ground for jokes and anything that would perform well on Twitter, I would screenshot and post that to Instagram and basically test 
So doing that for YouTube titles and everything is a great idea. So Threads is not dead. Yeah, no. And one last quick thing on that too. They make it so easy. Like if you struggle to post reels and stuff like that, you can literally click the little share on your thread and post it as a reel and just throw something in the background. So they make it so easy to turn that. You you don't even have to screenshot it. You can just turn that into a reel within like two clicks. And those tend to perform quite well too. I didn't even know you could do that. Tessa, the reason like we were going through who to have on on the show this week and I was like, I, I've been seeing your threads like, and then now it's also now feeding me your content, maybe more so right than, than normal because of uh, being on threads. Um, and I see them just absolutely blowing up as Eric almost throws up over here mid episode. You're right, buddy. Get this guy a water, huh? Tess, have you seen a, have you seen a growth in non follower on your like Instagram stuff because you're so yeah. con like consistent in threads? Have you, you mean like, yeah, have I've, you seen an influx in non follower you know, in your stuff? Well, I mean, I have definitely noticed a huge jump in non-follower engagement period on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I do largely think a lot of that is from threads. Um, It's also interesting that those don't instantly kind of transfer over to Instagram, but I've been finding that every now and then I just do a call for, Hey, I want to follow more realtors on Instagram, like respond with your username. And as always, thousands of realtors are like, here, follow me, follow me. And then all of a sudden it's really easy to convert them over there too. That's and awesome. and you're just like rewarding, you know, like how you reward the, the the real estate gods, right? Like you put the work in and kind of just happens. Like I think the more that you're doing, you know, the things that Instagram is asking for, the more that they're going to push your content, right? Because you're you're kind of greasing them, if that makes sense. Greasing the gods, exactly. The gods. All right, Dan's. This Come is on. the moment we've been waiting for. The note, drop it. The note hack, uh, Dan's. I will lead it to you guys. What do you tell us about this new note hack that you've been doing and how you've been getting so many? followers and engagement from it. Dan, I, I'm going to start this off because this was Dan Dan McKinnon's idea. Um, but to touch on the broadcast channel, I'm sorry, to touch on the uh, threads really quick, I've also now been u- utilizing threads and u- utilizing the broadcast channels, combining all of them. And my channel and my page has seen like a 500% increase in the last week, just for me even spewing garbage on, on both. Uh, but it's more so the effort. With that said, Dan and I, uh, as you can see, I'm here down in Florida, uh, got quick lunch yesterday and we were just riffing while I was drinking a, uh, an old fashioned with one Q mm. classic and Dan didn't eat or drink anything. No big deal. Strange. Um, just had water, which is fine, but he didn't eat, which is weird. Uh, Dan's like, Hey, by the way, did you notice this new notes thing? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I think I saw a BAM article on it, but I don't really understand the context of it. And Dan was like, I think I'm onto something here. And Dan, I will tee this up for you, brother. You have found yeah. a hack that I am now so, sharing with everyone that is obviously up. if if you have a listing that hasn't gone uh, off the market yet and you spent a good amount of money on marketing, it's like at some point you're resharing the same photos, this and that. So it's like, all right, I'm going to go back to that reel that I spent eight hundo on and go uh, hit reshare. But instead of doing that, I hit this little new note thing and I said, hey, open house 12 to 4. I then over the next like 12 hours got an additional 100, 110 likes on it and an additional 10 comments. Now, the best part was a lot of them were kind of like in realtor sphere that were like, holy crap, I love this video. I hadn't seen this before, which we know that issue with Instagram and the fact that we spend a ton of time putting all this content out and that doesn't get seen by 90% of the people that we actually care about or at least that want to see it. So it was pretty interesting to see it. So then I shared it with Dan and then, you know, we had just kind of gone back with, you know, two things that we kind of noticed was you can do it to yourself and you can start seeing that come through, but then you can also share other people's. So, you know, Dan went over to mine and then I went to his and she put a note on it. And then I was actually seeing that two people today that follow me and follow Dan added notes because I added the note on his. So it started this yep. chain reaction. And for everyone listening now, what it does is when you put the note, it brings that reel, whatever reel that is, to kind of the front and center of a feed, not a story, but to the feed. And then it shows you whatever that post is, and it could be up to 90 days ago. So if you can Mm -hmm. go to anyone's reel and do it yourself, but then it will show all of your followers that stuff. So it could be something Mm -hmm. motivational, it could be your own stuff, but you're basically pushing it out in a feed status versus a story status. And And, to be clear, so you go to an an Instagram reel, you click the share button in the bottom left corner if your Instagram is updated. And a lot of people don't have this feature yet. Mm -hmm. I don't have it on one of my accounts. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have it yet, don't worry. Then there is an add note section in the bottom left. You click add note and then you could type it and then it just click share. 
So it's basically, only- when you're watching this reel, you can see these notes kind of popping up as if they're almost pinned comments. So you yes. may have seen that where it looks like comments are floating around and you can see, oh, my friend commented on this post. I definitely want to watch it. But, but but what we uncovered even more so was we went back 90 days and I just started, I went on every single one of my videos and I just added a note that might say like, uh, like I actually just added an arrow to one of them. And what it's doing is it's rejuicing the algorithm and putting that video from 90 days ago back onto people's feeds. So I got like 300 likes on a video that I did 65 days ago, just from adding a note with like the arrows. Uh, the same thing with Dan, I, I asked my buddy Sal, I did it for him. And like 15 people that followed me went onto his account last night and started liking it because now it was like feeding it organically to them. So more so than like doing it in real time, I think it's more efficient, like Dan and I kind of uncovered, to go back and do it on reels from the, from the past. And now people are liking stuff on my page that were from like two months ago. And Dan's video that he, he had originally done, I didn't see it the first time, but I'd seen it the night before because he added the note. And I thought it was a brand new video. Which is funny like because nine. we talk and like that's that's how crappy yeah. Instagram is with their own feed right now. And the fact that Dan and I talk on Messenger through text, like through <laughs> everything, and yet we like our own shit. Yet he didn't see one of my most engaging videos that had been on there that was also pushed with like a bunch of money behind it when we launched that listing. So this yeah. is another way for people to pull back a little power and go through and share the the ones that you wished had done better, share the ones that may still have some relevancy. Um, it's kind of like that whole go back and, and reuse your content because I just don't think that sometimes we're, it's not our fault that we're hitting the mark. Sometimes it's totally our fault. Look in the mirror, but you know, sometimes it's that way. Tessa. Um, with that, that just reminded me of something that I've been doing too, which has made content way easier. So this is a little hack. It seems obvious, but as you save your reel as a draft, save it as a draft before posting it, the little three dots, you can click that and it has the option to duplicate it. So every single reel I go to make, I duplicate it. I leave that in my drafts. And then about, you know, within two weeks to 30 days later, I just change out the video, but I leave the exact same text and everything else and then repost it. And I've even done that a couple times with the same thing. And now you've Knowledge. turned content into so many more without just taking dropping. <laughs> Clip it. Clip it. Clip oh my it. God. I almost just exploded. I've never heard that before in my life. Wow. Well, Genius. Here's what Rose I would bomb. like as, as payment in exchange for that amazing tip. I <laughs> what, what do you want? Is I would like you to go from the VA page and add a note to every reel of mine. <laughs> oh, actually, there we go. That would, that would actually... Whoa, you know, let's just do all on. three of us right well, now, BA. Let's it's a small ask, you know. <laughs> Everybody, go to Tessa Bella's Instagram right now. Anybody watching this, because of this amazing uh, that advice that she's given, it, it is T E S S A A Bella with two L's and two A's. Go follow her right now and start adding notes to her reels to boost them to the algorithm. Eric, Eric we um, don't even have to. We don't even have to. We don't even need troops anymore. We don't even have to like send the message to go comment on each other's stuff. We always need the troops. We, we always just, need the troops. We do, but now we have troops in the form of notes. Now we Tessa, have, do you have troops? Do you have a little group that you send your message to or you send your Instagram to? I do to not. I used to do comments. that. I need to get back on that. I need, I need well, to do this. Wanna, I, need I don't believe you. If you want to join the name. cavalry, let us know. I'm that interested. Little, Add me in. Okay. Perfect. So the last thing um, on on hacks though, um, yes. TikTok just came out with a feature to add custom cover photos to your videos. And I know that TikTok hasn't been hot in the press lately, but this is kind of a big deal because now you're able to, um, if you go through doing a video that is you know, trend jacking or something that uh, you're trying to rank for, those photos will actually help you pop off the page if someone's searching for something. So if they're searching for your town or something like that, you can pop off the page a little bit more by getting creative, maybe use this next three to six months of it being new to your advantage. Oof. I got a couple more. Central. Another hack, go ahead. Here. So I needed to reorder and rearrange my Instagram highlights because it looked like a three-year-old had uh, previously done them. I used ChatGPT that now integrates with Canva. And I typed in, can you please make me an Instagram highlight for a 30-year-old with these titles? It did it. It kind of looked a little cartoonish. I changed the prompt then and said, can you please do this as if you had 30 years experience in the graphic design field and please clean it up, make it sharper. And this thing came back with the design that was unbelievable. And it took me seven seconds. I paid zero dollars for it. It wasn't Fiverr. Mm. It wasn't a graphic designer. Chad GPT is onto something. How much did you pay for Chad GPT though? Uh, I did. Uh, I got refunded. It was 700 bucks, but I got refunded. All right. 
Yeah, and for ChatGPT Super, that is a reminder to use ChatGPT. <laughs> and I want to give everybody here a little reminder to check out Reminder Media. If you're an agent looking to stand out from the crowd, Reminder Media is a resource you need to check out. You get your own branded and printed digital magazines, email newsletters, and social media content. Reminder Media delivers these resources to your contacts on autopilot. Mm. So you just have to sit there and they start delivering stuff, keeping you top of mind with your database. All you got to do is focus on your follow-up calls and watch referrals and repeat business come in. There's a link down in the description. Luke Acri, um, the president of Reminder Media, just spoke at BAM Barbecue. He's speaking at BAM Mania to our in-person event, which you should also click the description and get your tickets mm -hmm. now to that immediately. Mm -hmm. He's doing a Facebook ad webinar with us in a couple weeks, so I want to make sure everybody is tapped in to that. Okay, those are amazing hacks. I have another hack here, an Instagram story hack, but I don't even know if I want to do it because those three were just so good. Maybe I save this for next week. What do you think? I think you should do it. Great Instagram story hack too. You do oh. also? Tessa, we can't have more than five clips from you in this episode. I think we right. have to save this one. Should we save it, Dan, or should we just unleash the I, hacks? Listen, I, you know what? We haven't been here in three weeks. I, I, think, we, I, think, we, I think we give it to the people. Just okay. pack it. All right. You know what? Everybody, make sure you throw this video. Like, this is the first Instagram story hack. Then we'll get into Tessa's. Play this video by Brock the Cut. No, Brock Johnson. <laughs> Fast and easy Instagram story hack, part one. All you have to do is create a new Instagram story, add some text about an exciting announcement, like something you achieved, or maybe a flash sale or promotion, and then tap on the countdown sticker. What you're going to do is add any random text as what the countdown is for, and then click on the time of the countdown. Turn off the all day button and set the timer to end one minute later than the current time. Then just slide the timer off of the screen and post the story. Now there will be a fun and engaging confetti explosion whenever your followers view your story. Give this story a try the next time you have a big announcement to make and comment the word story if you want me to send you 50 more Instagram story ideas. This guy is just, <laughs> he's, I mean, how many calls to action can this guy include in one post? Just, that was incredible. <laughs> the ending, the ending though, it's like <laughs> 2 million more of these. <laughs> I know, but every single post he does converts like crazy because it's always comment the word this, comment the word that. Uh, if people don't understand that, go to your Instagram story, click the countdown thing. So if you have a new listing or you're selling something or it's some sort of announcement and just drag it off so that way people don't even see the countdown, like you said, confetti will pop up and it'll make people more likely to you know engage with that story because they're like, oh, what's going on here? Um, all right, Tessa. All right, mine's quick, but it is also using a story sticker, the one for reveal. So you do something that's sort of like a little clickbaity, but you're actually going to reveal. So I did a story and I said how I'm generating like 30 to 50 leads per day. And I used that reveal and the word that they had to message me in order to see what was behind the screen was triggering on many chat to then send them a link to my lead magnet. So now every time somebody typed that in to <laughs> what I'm teaching them, they're also getting a link directly to join. Haley, you almost it. just killed Dan and myself with that. Haley, clip that too. <laughs> Use the reveal sticker. This is the know. Tessa Bella episode. I don't even know how we, we continue <laughs> on to the next next thing. This is getting ridiculous. Um, that was good. So subscribe like, to throw BAMX throw this, throw and we'll talk to you like. next week. But yeah, by the way, if yeah. you want this sort of information before anybody gets it, before you get on the walkthrough, get into BAMX because we have courses and trainings on all that stuff, especially many chat. So use code walkthrough, W-A-L-K-T-H-R-U for 10% off. And of course, all BAMX members get 25% off BAM Mania. So if you don't join, you are a fool. All right. The final topic here is the best content that we've seen this week from ourselves, from ourselves. So Tessa, I would lead with you, but if we led with you, then you would just destroy all of us. So I'm going to go to Dan McKinnon first. Dan, if we could pull up this, I actually picked this for you, but I just thought this video was great because it was a nice little POV. Um, let's take a look and then we a lot can of jet skis this week. So I just want to say before you get into it, it's if, if you're listening to this on Spotify, head over to YouTube where you could actually watch this. It's Dan, I think that's you riding an actual jet ski and it says mm -hmm. POV, you live on the Gulf Coast. Very simple, but the caption was a beast describing why you should. And it just gives the audience this perfect image of how incredible it is to live in your hometown. So what was the thought process behind that reel? Yeah, two things that I'm starting to see. Um, I do really well on the All Sarasota page is shock and awe. So I try to get people in, you know, with crazy sunsets. So you do something, you know, try to get the most ridiculously nice sunset. People are going to share that. So um, I kind of transitioned to some of that here. 
Um, something we talked about a couple months ago on the show actually was SEO rich uh, text in Instagram. So I'm starting to do that a little bit more and focusing on uh, crafting out these captions a little bit better. So the more you can craft a good, good caption for people to find the stuff and then create a captivating video. I mean, that's, that's where we live. So it's pretty ridiculous and I'm pretty proud of where we live, but, um, you can see the video. It's like, who wouldn't want to just ride a jet ski there with their kid in front of them, just hanging out. So I think it's finding moments where you can have that shock and awe and then also inform so that it kind of comes together where more people will find it, see it, like it, share it. Amazing. Danny deals. You might've put out a top three, top one possible, possibly listing videos of 2024. If we are doing the Bammies, which we will be doing an award show in December, Ooh. this will 100% get a nomination. Wow. So Haley, let's pull up this video from Danny Deals and then Dan can break down Get why this back. video was so good. Welcome to 21 Salt Metal Road here in Babylon. This unbelievable townhouse is completely renovated. Three beds, three and a half baths. This is an absolute must see. So much so that I have a suit supply suit on. I can't swim. Didn't even bring a change of shoes. However, it got your attention and so will this unit. These beautiful things that I've got. Please stay. House is so sick. Yeah, that was so good. Good video. And it says from Honey Hey Hey, Haley, Marketer of the Week right there. So there you go. Yeah. Dan, tell us about that video. <clears throat> Yeah, so just uh, recreating what's worked in the past. Got a beautiful waterfront listing as I uh, get back into production here. Uh, any excuse to ride a jet ski, I'm all in. So uh, I just thought it'd be a really good way of capturing people's attention for the first five to seven seconds. I truly can't swim. I did not bring a change of clothes. I had to walk around with no shoes for the rest of the day. Made it funny. And it was just a gorgeous listing. So we always talk about good hooks in the beginning that got people's attention. Very professional, uh, beautiful listing. I, I truly one of my favorites. And then I added at the end to uh, some of the bloopers because I thought that it would, it would humanize it. It would make it funny. Um, and I, I've actually noticed that the watch time on there is, is through the, like through the roof. People are watching it to the end and replaying it because you know, it's me on a jet ski, like, like almost drowning me falling off, like me talking to myself. Like I didn't even know that the mic could pick me up from 3000 miles away. Um, so I added in that humor too. And uh, yeah, you know, um, sellers loved it. The activity has been unbelievable. And, it's just good to good to be good to be back. It's good to be making content yeah. and having fun making content again. That was so. vintage Danny Deals. One of the first videos yeah. I saw of you was either jumping in a pool or riding a jet ski from like four years ago. So yep. you know, tapping into the old well, as mm -hmm. they say. So we accidentally skipped over the end there. So there were some yeah. bloopers. Okay, hmm. that, that, that's, well, the best, that's that's the best part of the video, in my in my opinion. You, you skip oh, through whoops. that. Yeah, I mean, we're watching you know the hydrangea bushes uh, in, on a drone shot here. This, this is yeah, you know. Let's see if we could let's see if we could cut to the you know. No wake zone. No wake zone. <laughs> Twenty one Salt Metal Road here in Babylon. This completely remnant. <laughs> Marble mouth. Mm -hmm. It's a take hundred. Love well, that he's trying to get like perfectly lined up every time. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to Twenty One. I'm gonna fly off this jet ski. Damn. I'm sweating like a mother. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And we're live. New Talk waterfront listing here. I'm in a full suit and tie. Full suit and tie here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and I'm spinning. Oh, that's not good. I'm spinning here. Ah, oh, jeez. Like that, you know that's great. That was me that? talking to myself. <laughs> what's, what's great about that, too, is the comments say, I love the bloopers at the end. So just like you said, it holds retention throughout the entire video. Add a note to that saying, make sure you watch into the end for the bloopers. There you go. Or you could do that, and then I can get all your following too. Just Danny saying. Deals that's was right, good after right. this because he followed up all the uh, the cameras that are at his office, showing him showing up at his office, you know, showing that he had no shoes on. So it was it was kind of a good storytelling too because people were seeing the video, react, and he's like, "No, seriously, I didn't bring shoes." And then he's showing like pictures, and I always think that's interesting because if someone comes, like Tess and I were talking about earlier, a lot of non followers visiting our pages. So if you can get some engagement and see that, like, hey. I'm funny, professional, but also like kind of human, make mistakes, and then I'm still funny. So it's kind of cool to see. People, people love the storytelling. But what was funnier too is that I hadn't met the sellers before and I pulled up on the jet ski in the suit and they were like, I was like, they could hate me. They, this is going to be bizarre. And they were dying laughing. And then across the street, there was a for sale by owner. 
on the water and it had like the, the phys, you know, the signs and I drove the jet ski over in full suit and tie and got the appointment. So like, it's just such a, the listing video turned into like this whole big story that now I'm going to be able to share on my new page, Entrepreneur Danny, and just using <laughs> tactics from the show, all of like everything from the show generally, truly. That's also, why you got to, yep. Sorry, go ahead. Tessa. I also think that, um, that could be a great example of content too. Like I think a lot of people do like a get ready with me or a day in the life or something. People picked up on that in real estate, but even a behind the scenes of a, of the week and you kind of do like a carousel or something and you're dumping all of the behind yes. the scenes of the not glamorous stuff that you're doing every single week in real estate. I think that could be a really cool way to incorporate the, the realism behind all of it too. Or bloopers yeah. every week. Like we all film so many videos like Dan showed me his his phone when he was fitting filming this video for TF and he had 60 videos and that's that's exactly what my feed looks like when I do a green screen I do 5000 takes so it'd be funny to post those takes and I scream at myself I literally say you are the worst content creator known to mankind how can you not get this hook out sitting in my room it's Dude, absolutely my, pathetic my poor dog is like cowering in the corner because i'm sitting oh. there like oh, damn it like like yeah. smacking my leg the guy thinks he's in trouble i'm like i'm so sorry <laughs> dude it gets me so mad it gets me like i i'm like you could see some cuts where my face is boiling red because i just like <laughs> threw my phone because i cannot get out the call to action on these yeah. videos if you're still watching this throw this yes. video like because if you're getting good content from this you're getting some good ideas show us a little love here because we want to bring this to you every single week which we do well, anyway fine. regardless if you throw us a like uh let's get into tessa's video this was the ai duplication trend oh, this was so why don't we play this video and then we could get into this because i don't know which one is which here now i'm curious can you tell if this is the real me or if this is my clone so, i know it's probably hard for you to tell because it looks so similar now i'm curious can you tell mm. if this is the real me or if this is my clone? I know it's probably hard for you to tell because it looks so similar. Okay, clone I'm going to guess. Yeah, no, I'm going to guess real one was two. Are they both you? Wh which one was which? What is this, the, a magic trick here? The top one was really me. The bottom one was AI. But you know what's so funny? Some of the comments too are like, <laughs> they're like, I can tell this one's real because one of your eyes is so squinty and small. <laughs> and I'm oh like, God. okay, well, <laughs> thank you for that. So I got a, I got a lot of people debating in the comments, but I think that's why, I mean, I always love an opportunity to be controversial and a little polarizing. So I think anything where you can sort of like provoke people to argue and go back and forth, there were even people responding to other people in comments like, no, you're an idiot. If you think that's real, like, and it, it's funny, but it also just continued to drive more and more engagement. And that got so many shares. I think that had like 300 and something shares. That's I what's just great about the funniest idea. What's great about that video also is just, it's not even, it's not like real estate related or marketing related. It's just a video that sparks conversation. So not everything has to like have a direct point except for starting a debate in the comments. So that was a great video. How, how did you do that, Tessa? Like, is it like a, uh, is it a filter, like a software? It's a website called Heygen. Um, but also with that, my marketing brain, I did that one to provoke a bunch of people. And then coming out later this week, I have a video that's a full tutorial on YouTube and I'm posting like a reel that's driving people to that one. So it was like, hey, let's just like really kind of poke a, an, an issue here, depending on how much we get out of that, then let's turn it into something that's actually informational and like does add value and pertain to marketing. Clip it. Clip it. Just clip that's, it. That's six. That's clip. That's six Eric, right Eric, there. How Sam. funny would it be if, if I made that video, but the bottom one is you. <laughs> <It's just something>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Follow, <laughs> follow my new Danny Entrepreneurs page. Is this me or is this which is AI? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That would be a hilarious video. We should do that. We'll never do it. Nope. Um, all right. <laughs> Moving on to what I think is the marketer of the week. So I'm not choosing uh, a video that I created because I didn't create any videos last week, but this is a real by a real estate agent in Phoenix who mastered how to highlight a specific feature of a home with funny analogies. When will my wife return home from war? Oh, hi, this is Bryce. Yeah, you're looking for a home priced under 521,223 with tall ceilings? Very specific. Well, I'm currently in a space that could fit two and a half Victor Webb and Yames or one giraffe. No, there's currently not a giraffe here. I was just being specific. It's in Phoenix, come on down.
All right. I love using the analogies, showing the giraffe stacking to feature the high ceilings. I like doing something like that. I thought that mm -hmm. was a good idea by Bryce Buchanan, a Phoenix agent. Never featured him before. That's not Ken Pozak. Yeah. That's not nope. Jason Cassidy. That's not Tessa. That's Jason or Brian Buchanan. Brian. Brian. Yeah. Uh, yes, Eric, Eric, I know you have a hard stop at three here, but I actually yes. sent in one myself that is really, 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 really good. We never featured him before. Do we have time? It's 30 seconds. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. Haley, pull it Do up. Do we have it? Do we have it? Up. We have it. We have it here. Uh, we're going to put this up here at it's the end of the better episode. Better be good. It's going to be very good. It is very good. It's super oh, viral. Love so this good. dude. Oh, this Mike guy again? Man. Mike yeah, is the man. Play it up. Play it up. Tee it up. This listing will make you cry, scream, throw up, and fall to your knees in the Walmart parking lot. This kitchen ate and left no crumbs. The gas range is serving, I fear. Chat, this goes hard. No cap. You're clinically Delulu if you don't think this is fire. Okay, Rizzlers, this primary suite lives rent-free in my head. This would send a Victorian child into a coma. <laughs> High key, say less. Buying this house would be a colossal W. Leave a skibbity in the comments if you're Sigma enough. You know, that's yeah. just... That's a great, so this guy's been going viral nonstop for his Gen Z videos. He has another yeah. one that's at like 10, 15, I think it might even be at 40 million views. He's on the news. Night. Yeah, he is absolutely crushing it. Everybody, that is an episode. Thank you for watching the walkthrough. Make sure you throw this video a like if you got some value out of it. Go follow Dan McKinnon. Go follow Danny Deals. Go follow Tessa Bella. Leave some notes on her posts and look out for that new AI post that's going to link to our video. And make sure you get your tickets to BAM Mania, bammania.com for the best real estate conference on earth in Vegas. That's an episode. <laughs>